My name is Michelle O'Meara. I'm a student at the University of New England's College of Pharmacy in my final year. And this past year, I was able to do a rotation at the Family Medicine Institute in Augusta uh, with an interprofessional team. The interprofessional team at the FMI included three students, myself, a DO student, and a fellow pharmacy student. Before enrolling in medical school, I worked as a nursing assistant. So when I worked as a nursing assistant, I was always told that I was the eyes and the ears of the job, which I felt like I was. I spent a lot of time with these patients, helping them with activities of daily living, and I would sometimes be the first person to notice something, to report to the registered nurse or to a doctor or to a social worker. The idea for the interprofessional education program um, came about as an effort to try to improve transition of care between hospital and home for patients. This just is so intuitive to me that people that are going to be working together should be training together. It just, uh, it's almost like a no-brainer. So I'm really glad that I've been able to be a part of this um, from the beginning. One of the benefits of working collaboratively together is that we learn to trust each other and with that trust comes value. We value the work that each other provides for the patient. I'm Barbara Crowley. I'm the Executive Vice President for Maine General Health, um, involved in both population health management and education efforts here at Maine General and the residency. It's not just a matter of putting dis different disciplines in a room or around a patient case. It's really around that team growing to really understand um, what each of their roles are and how can they best utilize their time, their technical expertise, and how can they best use that of the other members of the team. The interprofessional education piece of working together and training together and learning together came as a result of a great deal of organization, and I think that's the key thing. Scheduling is really important. We have to be very deliberate in putting healthcare professionals together. We can't just say, okay, now it's time for you to work together. We have to have very deliberate exercises, very deliberate orientation. Tuesday afternoons were filled with didactic sessions with uh, the medical preceptors giving us different lessons and patient cases and really showing us how to work together as a team, just giving us that practice. Thursday mornings we were back in the clinic and Thursday afternoons we actually spent with other healthcare professionals, the MAs and doing patient intake visits and the social work aspect of uh, the FMI. My favorite part was the home visits, being able to go into a patient's home and see not only what they're telling us at the clinic, but see how they're living, see if they have needs that are not being met, see how they're using their medications. Wednesday afternoons, we did home visits. Any patients that were recently discharged from the hospital or who had called and maybe had a concern that they'd like addressed, we were able to go out to their home, address their concerns, save them a trip, a visit, and maybe even a copay. There was a specific home visit that really struck me. Um, it was something that I think, being a future physician, I should have picked up on myself, but we visited a patient at his home and we were concerned about falls with him. And one of his medications happened to be a diuretic and he was on the appropriate dose of the diuretic. He wasn't gaining weight or losing too much weight, but they suggested changing the diuretic to a morning dose rather than an afternoon dose so he wouldn't be getting up at night to be going to the bathroom. Having pharmacy there with their understanding of how these drugs work enabled us to um, change the medications and uh, decrease this patient's risk for falls, which was our main concern. My major role over the last so four or five months uh, has been to begin to collect data around, particularly around the home visits that we do. What I found is, is that we are in many instances able to prevent readmission uh, of a patient. Uh, someone who's recently been discharged with a chronic medical condition, they're at significant risk um, to be admitted. And so we're really saving the, the system um, and we're obviously helping a patient not have to suffer more with disease and, and that's really a win-win. As healthcare has developed, the breadth of information that we need to take care of any one patient or any population is greater than any single mind or actually any single set of eyes. 
you know, we've learned a lot right now with the IP experience so far. I think one of the nice, one of the best stories I heard was from the staff who are supporting our IP experience. Um, they created home visits to support the curriculum, but have come to believe they can't take care of the patients without the home visits. So it's an iterative process as we work to train the students, found a, you know, a care model that works better than what we had been doing before. So that's the kind of thing I, I can really get excited about. You know, I trained 40 years ago. Most of us didn't have that experience in our training. And as I work with UNE on this project, uh, it is not just about training the students who come here, but it's about training our staff. In order for us to really do this well for the various disciplines that come here as, uh, f uh, in the student population, our own staff needs to learn how do we actually be very effective teams. What I've learned as being part of this interprofessional team is that there are times where you are the teacher and there are times where you are the learner. I'm able to understand that the social worker and the pharmacist may see things that I may not see or that my patients may not tell me. And so if I can have a good relationship with them, I can get this information about my patients that could make all, you know, the world of difference in their lives. I actually wasn't really sure how to communicate with a DO student before the rotation. I wasn't sure what they knew versus what I knew. And I definitely say that after this experience, I feel more comfortable. Even a couple months after the rotation, I got a call from the DO student that I worked with because he felt more comfortable reaching out to pharmacy to answer a specific question that he had. And we had a great discussion about immunizations and pharmacy imm immunizations versus clinic setting immunizations and I think that we all feel more comfortable in that position with communication with other healthcare providers. So I think it really changed me in the way I approach patient problems. It's not how I can solve the problem, it's how can I help to solve the problem and what other team members should be around. How can we as a team help this patient the best? So my advice for everyone, clinicians as well as students, is to have an open mind and, and realize the value of learning from other professions. Um, you know, everybody has years of education behind them. It's a little bit different for everybody, and we can all learn a lot from each other in order to help the patients better. It's been my observation that because they've been part of a team here, um, have had a six-week experience, that those relationships, not only do those relationships endure, but their ability to partner and work with other individuals, they're just further along in that cycle. Um, and I really feel in healthcare, the bottom line is relationship. Um, and it's a relationship not only that you build with the patient, but really with each other. It gives us a clearer understanding of what it, each other does in our professions and how we can work together in the future. And I think that starting at school is the first step in that healthcare transformation. Healthcare is changing and we need to change with it. We need to provide experiences where our healthcare providers can communicate with each other. We need to break down the systems and the barriers that prevent them from communicating and working together. My advice would be jump right in. Don't be scared. Don't think, how am I going to contribute? Because you will contribute and you'll surprise yourself with how much you know and how much you get out of the experience.